Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo, uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising Monty Tarot reading for October 2018 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign this is not your personal reading, therefore I will um, tell you the meanings of the cards in their representative positions as well as I'm going to make the synergy in between them, however, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, if you find these um, reports helpful, uh, and you want to know more about your star sign, specifically career and relationship wise for the month of October, then you can check out my website again for extended monthly tarot readings and there you can purchase your extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49. So that being said and as the cards are cut, we are going to the um, monthly spread which contains five card spread. Now the first card is about um, the topic of your month or rather it was like where you are finding yourself or how you are going to find yourself in your month. The, the second card is about the immediate actions or the intentions that you should uh, have throughout the month. The third card is about the challenges that will cause predicaments to you Libras throughout the month. The fourth card is about the resources that you can rely on throughout the month or what will help you there. And the, five, the fifth card is about the uh, final outcome or what will be the result of all that here. So <clears throat> we do have the Ten of Pentacles as a card which uh, defines the topic of your month or uh, what will be your situation. So it does look like that this month is going to be very um, how can I, I, I would say neutral, alright, because the Ten of Pentacles does represent the final stage of what one works for. So this card could, um, could involve many things and could manifest in many ways. So I will try to explain it to you in a way that you can make sense of it. So the Ten of, Cup, the ten of Pentacles symbolizes in an old man, you know, enjoying and, and getting fulfilled by seeing his family walking around in their castle etc etc so the man has everything that the man has worked for therefore this month it is likely that you are going to see the fruits of your labor coming in and if your labor was uh, was a hard work then a, a big fruits are gonna come in your way this card points that at that moment you're gonna feel yourself into a very comfortable environment either in your family career relationship etc etc and also that is a card of building up trust so you are going to restore trust into certain um, people into certain social circles you know and also that could go the other way someone who have lost trust in could restore that trust and make up for you but this card points that whatever you are about to invest as time money efforts etc etc in this month is going to give the uh the I don't know if this is a word here, you know, but it's kind of like it's a mathema it's a mathematical term where uh, you you have it the same back, all right? So they will be uh, the the rewards will be equal to your uh, to your efforts. Now, ten of pentacles. It's a very interesting card because it does speaks for um, it does regard to a certain completion of a circle, and that completion uh, will be. Um, and the success of that completion again will uh, will be scaled based on how much you have worked for it. But uh, on a more superficial level, this card says that if you invest, your investments will be uh, rather proven back, or 
you will be able to gain from those investments. So intentional wise here that may, that card makes me laugh because it does says that you should not slack at all. Now the eight of pentacles is pointing that you need to first attend to the minor details before you actually exert before you actually execute the certain undertaking that things first. Also intentional wise the ten the eight of pentacles is about obtaining skills and knowledge. So if you are not feeling qualified for a certain thing then this is the card pointing that maybe it's time for you to start learning very important to be acknowledged here however about um, um about relationships is that this card points that there will be ups and downs throughout the month because what we say here is is that people will regain back trust into one another and that cannot happen out of a thin air all right that could happen through some provings through some trails as well etc etc so the eight of pentacles here points that you should be willing to go through the ups and downs into one relationship so the relationship can be uh, restored back into its normal flow because the eight of pentacles in many tarot decks this card is um, displayed as a, a blacksmith and the product of the blacksmith goes through fire and water become be, before it becomes a, a a, a masterpiece that's why you cannot expect that everything is going to be easy this month as a matter of fact it's going to be tough all right but the end result here does worth it so the more you toil, the bigger results you're going to have. And then we do have the challenges that you have to overcome here. That will be the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a card pointing to a... Um, how can I explain it? It is a card that symbolizes that one is happy of what one got. So in this specific um, in this specific case, for you, Libras, it's going to be difficult for you to stop yourself and to hold your horses. Because no matter how much you achieve here, you know, throughout your work, it's never going to be enough. So the challenge for you, Libras, is going to be the satisfaction of your job. And you need to know in that specific case you know you need to know where your limits and capabilities lies and you have to you need to have a certain point where you stop working right and start enjoying your blessings and start enjoying the uh, the benefits that you have worked for because at the end of the day you may find yourself into a magic circle where you yeah you work a lot but at the end you know the end result does not satisfy you at all and you constantly want more and more and more that is the negative uh, impact of the ten of pentacles saying that no matter how much one person has this is in our human nature we always want more because we get used with what we have it's no different with drugs you know at the at the start for example the very minor dosage of let's say pain painkillers the very minor dosage of a painkiller it's uh, it, it is enough to kind of like ease the pain but as the time passes we we need more and more and more and that is body tolerance and that body tolerance is not against uh, chemicals only but it is against everybody e everything just imagine today you may have a big salary but you arrange your your financial schedule should i say that way or your fi financial means to the new bigger bigger salary and after a couple of months you will find out that this bigger salary is not enough and you want more and you need more etc etc so it's it's very important that throughout this month you um, even though you work hard here Libra in your career or to stabilize your relationship to acknowledge how far you went with your efforts then the next card here is going to be what you can rely on, what will help you throughout the month. And this is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a very peculiar card falling into that position. First thing that comes to my mind when I look at that card, it points that you will be very strong singularity, uh, which means that... Uh, how can I explain it? <clears throat> which means that you will be able to... Uh, assess the situation very well and very accurately and that will help you to foresee where the situation can fall into ruin and how to prevent that fall into ruin because the seven of wands is in a general scheme of things it does express that uh, 
something small happens which kind of like work, works against you and suddenly escalates because these ones that are opposing this person here they doesn't have to be people all right they could be also um, issues a small issue that uh, if left unattended kind of escalates moving on forward into the future until at the end becomes overwhelming and that's why this this is what is going to help you here this is can this is what you can rely on your strength to assess your situations all right and to uh, kind of like define where the thing or the undertaking you know as a project or relationship is this lack, lacking stability and to attend into it straight away before it escalates and be, before beca it, it becomes overwhelming and the last card here is the final outcome now what will be the result of all that we have even more increasing of stability the ace of pentacles it is a pointing toward a, a long-term goal so it does depend what kind of a relationship or a career situation you do have have here the ace of pentacles points that at the end of the month you will have harmony into your relationship success into in, into one business should you go for it you know and in general that whatever you are taking as an undertaking here is going to consolidate you materially in this world and material consolidation doesn't mean that this is going to be a monetary success you know it could be a a place that you are going to live a new place that you are going to live it could be as well comfort with the relationships of the others etc etc you know calmness as well and in general the ace of pentacles is the card that offers you wealth but wealth is different for every single one of us for some is money you know for for others is love for third is 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 um is calmness for fourth is health it does depend what you are after. The thing here with this reading is that um, the topic of your month and the uh, intentions that uh, you can have is that should you have a prime goal and should you work for it despite the challenges that you, that you may not find it very pleasant, you know, at this very moment. And as soon as you assess that there is a, a crack somewhere throughout your uh, plan and, you know, and throughout the undertakings that you are doing and, and attend to address it straight away, then for what it seems at the end, you will be able to at least establish a, a very severe milestone to, uh, to, toward your goal which is um, making you a rock solid in your place where you're finding yourself either career or either relationship wise so that being said Libras this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2018 I hope you enjoyed it guys and I hope you liked it and again this is a general reading for Libra star sign this is not your personal reading therefore I explained you the meanings of the cards you know their synergy in the spread but it but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you then that is a subject of a personal reading and and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings rat signing up now see you next time bye